So this is another in the Anxiety series. 100% cotton t-shirt that's been soaked in sodash for at least 20 minutes and then spun out in the washing machine until it's just damp. So I'm going to start with a corner of the shirt and I'm going to make sure the shirt is, is open just so that it has more width for this base. I'll go ahead and drop it down. And then I'm just going to slowly rotate it as I kind of pull the sides out so that it's not all pulling in the center. And again, just rotating while I'm doing it. Not a lot of rotation. that in some and then I'll go ahead and put bands on this all right that's what it looks like off to die Alright, for this I'm going to be using some Dawn Soap, Robin's Egg Blue, uh, that's from Dharma, Seashell Blue from Grateful Dyes, Deep Space from Dharma, Marine Blue from Grateful Dyes, and Power Berry from Dharma. Okay. Those last three are just going to be ice dyed. Um, the first, the Robin's Egg Blue, the Robin's Egg Blue and Seashell Blue are being used as liquid dyes. And those are in the small little needle dispensers with the regular Dawn dispenser and then come back in with the smaller. Yeah, that'll probably work better. Now this will only soak through like the top two layers or so, but that is completely fine. I'm going to come back in with the Robin's Egg Blue. back in with the seashell. All right, I'll let that sit for a bit, and then we'll come back and flip it over and do the backside. All right, I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and drop this into some aluminum foil. And we'll do the ice dye.
go ahead and let this melt through and then we'll see if we need to do anything else. All right, it's been about 24 hours. Let's go ahead and wash this out. I would guess quite a bit of this is going to come out in the wash because of the dawn. And that's my goal. Uh, that's what it's like currently. Well, I'll go throw this in and we'll take a final look. Here we have the front. Here we have the back. So continuing on from last week's anxiety shirt of my thoughts, um, this is weather. There was some really nasty weather here mid-March that spurred, spawned, spawned. Um, <laughs> I think, think the number I saw was 22, but honestly I would say it's probably closer to the 40s or 50s uh, quantity of tornadoes um, just in a stretch of our area. Um, I know some disappeared and they couldn't see them because of the rain around them and there were National Weather Service radar installations being taken out by tornadoes that was causing them not to be able to track the tornadoes because they couldn't see the wind velocity due to the, the two angles of the radar units. Anyway, so that that was fun. It's always fun hiding in your in your um, hallway uh, with your family, hoping for the best. Um, nothing came from it. I mean, things came from it. We had two tornadoes in our town alone. Um, I would say it was basically minor damage, considering they were tornadoes. We didn't have any uh, issues specifically at our house, but one of them was about a mile and a half away from us, mile to a mile and a half. So a little close for comfort. So I tried a new technique with the Dawn and what do you think about the weather shirt? Um, I would say it's darker than I wanted it to be, but you know what? It's more accurate. Um, it's dark. Uh, this isn't like a like a cloud thing. It's almost like you just it's it's darkness everywhere except for a few little things trying to peek through. I think this is accurate. Um, some might say I shouldn't have used the purple because it's not fitting for weather. It's more of a galaxy type thing for space. I think it works. I guess I could have thrown some green in for all the hail that was going on too. You you get the idea. I could have added some other colors, but I think this is fitting for the situation. So I might do some other weather ones as well, um, but there will most likely be another anxiety <laughs> shirt next week. Um, sorry for the lengthy expose at the end of last week's and this week's uh, for showing the shirt. And until next time, thanks for watching.